Hi guys and welcome back to a different uh, style of video today and I just wanted to do this video as I am actually really impressed with this Wi-Fi card of mine um, so recently I've switched Wi-Fi plans so I've gone from a about 10 megabit plan to a 70 megabit plan and it's inconvenient to run an ethernet cable through my house so I just used a standard Wi-Fi card and I was quite under impressed I was getting on the 10 megabit about 3 megabits per second I didn't find that that unusual as it was quite busy but on this I was expecting around 40 megabytes as it's Wi-Fi it's a little bit slower and we got all the family but I was still expecting about 40 megabytes with, the, with my original card I was getting around 10 uh, max, 10, 11 max, and I was like, oh, great. And it was just generally quite slow. Um, even though I was getting 10, 11 megabytes, which is much faster than I originally had, but still not what I was promised. Um, so I researched into it more and realized I only had a 2.4 gigahertz card. So I was like, oh, bugger, how do I fix this? Buy a 5 gigahertz one. Now, I got this on Amazon.co.uk for... £40 I believe I think it was around £40 and it's definitely worth a purchase um, if you're experiencing slow Wi-Fi um, but you're paying for faster Wi-Fi this this could might be your fix if if you're running not on 5 gigahertz I'm three flights up my stairs I'm still getting this card about 40 megabytes I'll do a I'll show you a speed test um, I can't do show you the speed test of my original card as I've sold it uh, to a mate of mine but I can show you the speed test results from when I had that card installed so without ado uh, I've already I'll just put it back in the box but I'll show you how it roughly comes so if I just open the box here and I'll just on the on the box it does say 5 gigahertz 400 megabits per second now that is that's what it can have um, so you can up to 400 megabits per second maximum on the 2.4 gigahertz network, 867 megabits on the 5 gigahertz. Wide signal coverage, yeah. Multiple wall placement, talk to you about that in a minute. And that's only if you have ASUS routers and, um, what do you call it? Uh, <laughs> voice crack. Um, Wi Fi extenders, I believe. So, get into the box here we can see we have first of all an external base now this external base here allows you to connect these two antennas here which allow you to get much larger coverage they was saying about the 150 percent um times wider coverage that's what these two guys do here they're very long and they're quite thick so <laughs> thick um, so they allow great Wi-Fi, uh, I think interception is the right word, um, and yeah, really, really good antennas. So first of all, before we do anything, all you can do is just screw those on there, as so, and the other one, as so, and we will set that off to the side. So, set that over here. And the main product it comes with is obviously the Wi-Fi card. So, let's take this out here. And whenever you're holding a Wi-Fi card, hold it by the bracket because you may, it's very, un very, very unlikely, but you may damage a small component um, in the actual Wi-Fi card. So, you can see here it's red. It's very nice. It has a really um, large heat sink. And it fits into a standard PCI Express slot, as we can see below. Here there are the two antenna prods where this end attaches to. So you screw those in later. And it has a hole for where you can screw it, uh, screw the brackets in at the top. So without further ado, let's get installing that. So uh, Ryze, right, we're back here and I'm just out my PC. Just flipped on its side, removed the lid of the case. Uh, the window, yeah, the window thing, and I've got the PCI, uh, got the Wi-Fi card, Wi-Fi adapter in my hand here, and I just contradict my point about saying try not to hold the card by the red bit, just hold it by the bracket. But as you can see, I'm not touching anything sensitive, uh, so I should be okay. 
you will need to probably do this just to insert the Wi-Fi card and be a little bit fiddly. So what you're going to do is, is to go bracket for, you're going to insert the bracket first downwards. So it kind of goes on an angle. Then you're going to simply push down on the bracket and on the end until the Wi-Fi card slots into place as so. Once there's a fit connection, we can see we're going to get the screw here. And just going to grab the screwdriver and pick it up as so. And I'm going to insert the screw back into the bracket to tighten it. Or the card might fall out, very unlikely, but it might. As you can see there, I'm screwing it in. And once it fits snug, I will stop screwing. So there you go, that's nice and snug and tight. And the next step I'll show you is how to connect the bring it into focus the uh, antennas so i'll do that once i've got my pc flipped up and ready connected right i'm ready to connect okay guys uh yeah so i'm back and right so here you can see the antennas and there are two i think these are made out of gold actually um gold connection ports where we can just screw them together so i'll do that as shown Let's fit one on and really don't want to knock my own camera as I've on my camera my phone as I've placed it on like this really weirdly angled um not angled. I basically placed it on a money box and then placed it on a jar. A glass jar and then I placed my phone on top of that. So it's quite sensitive and my arm is nearly knocking the jar so i want to be extra careful here but it should be okay right nearly done they are nearly in place there we go and as you can see here just going to grab the external base with their actual antennas on and just going to place it up top now this is metallic uh, metallic uh what do you call it magnetic so if i just raise the camera up here You'll be able to see it just sticks on. Um, I think it can stick onto the side. Yeah, it sticks onto the side. Um, so you can pretty place it at any angle. And these antennas do move and fold out. So I can just fold them in if I want. Or outwards. Like so. So you can, you can adjust them to your uh, liking. So the next thing I'm going to do is plug everything back into my PC and uh, run a speed test for you okay guys so welcome back and we are on my PC so I just opened the Wi-Fi app uh, Wi-Fi Air app and I'm just gonna hit go and see what we get it'll probably be significantly higher than 11 megabits which I was getting with my 2.4 gigahertz card so nice low ping that's good and wow all the way above 30, above 35, <laughs> it went up into the 40s at the start, wow. Um, so that, that's a real improvement, yeah, definitely. So this does get speeds, it's promised. Um, it, it's an excellent card. There you go, 36 down, and to get around 20 up. So let's see what we get. We, for upload, we get mm, 22. So this card's very good, very good. So recommend a purchase. Anyway, that's all for this one-off video from Jet Two Guy, and I'll see you again soon, probably in the simulator. Um, yeah, maybe next week, maybe this week. Who knows? Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, goodbye.